know you never really know somebody until they're the plaintiff and you're the defendant. Y'all know that, right? Um, I just want to say that I respect Pharrell for being honest and letting you know up front that he's a red. One of y'all, some of y'all, or probably all of y'all are sitting next to somebody right now that's a rat. You just don't know it yet because they haven't been put in the position to be one. Like, a lot of y'all homies and even y'all tough guys and fake hood, the hood niggas, all that, y'all is one case away or one banana peel away from being an informant. Like, especially if you're in the street. You don't know what somebody will do unless you've been through it or been through something with that person. You do not know. So I respect Pharrell for letting people know that he's not a street guy. He's not a hood guy. He's not with the hood code or the street stuff. And he is going to call the police. He looks like someone that is familiar with 911. I'm just saying. He doesn't look like somebody. What is he? three foot seven like he don't look like he's prepared to do anything for anybody if anything goes wrong like he looks like oh let me call the police he looks he gives me he gives me officer vibes like eh, y'all is crazy it's like you can't win in the black community if you will rat on somebody you horrible if you don't come forward on on the on the killer that you know is the killer and you know they did the killing and you don't come forward you still horrible it's like a catch-22 in the hood like once you get tangled up with black people it is an absolute catch-22 because you can't do the right thing if you do the right thing you're wrong if you do the wrong thing you're wrong so i mean oh my black people like y'all make me tired like Mm, 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 mm. Y'all alright though.